I'm Charlie Roach. I've got two daughters, 14 and 12, and my 12-year-old's uh, been playing sports uh, ever since she could uh, pretty much kick a ball or bounce a ball. And my wife's been big into s sports. She plays tennis mostly, but she snow skis, water skis, and uh, enjoys any type of sports activities as well. I think the biggest thing that would be an impact is whenever they watch sports on TV, it's it's 90 plus percent watching men play soccer, men play basketball. Uh, obviously football is the major sport in the U.S. at this point in time, so nine months of the year it's football on TV. Uh, volleyball, there's no volleyball except at the Olympics. Um, very little track and field. So, uh, and, and the other thing in tennis, there's never any doubles tennis on TV. And my wife being very much into tennis, women, almost 90% of what they play is doubles play. And men, I bet it's over 70%. So they rarely show doubles tennis on TV. So I think having a, a all women sport network, it would show them, number one, my daughters, how, uh, how the different skill sets and what they can do as a woman versus the male sports are normally very differently played uh, as they go about, and, and the, sometimes that makes rules a little different. I think as we get more global, and the women's sports from soccer to volleyball, uh, even to tennis, um, you start trying to find your niche that's not in the NFL, it's not in, it's not in uh, football from college, and it's not in men's tennis or men's basketball. I think that's what you're going to bring to the party that's missing today. I actually do enjoy watching uh, uh, women's tennis and women's doubles. <laughs> uh, I find it actually much more exciting than men's tennis. Men's tennis, it's serve, volley, end of point. The women's tennis is much more volleying, uh, much more uh, extended points. And uh, I think you see that from the ratings on even Wimbledon and the others that you see just as much women's tennis in the single side. But overall, you don't see a lot of, of that. What else would I watch? I think I'd watch volleyball. You don't see volleyball at all on TV anymore. And I think I would watch volleyball. Every once in a while, you catch it, especially during the Olympics. And I think I would, I would watch that. Um, and I'm also a basketball junkie. Um, you know, it is a different way that uh, the women's basketball a lot of times played. And it's a lot more how I play, to be honest. <laughs> you know, uh, the things they're doing is more at my skill level uh, than watching some of these guys in the NBA or even at the college level. Uh, so watching uh, how the women are, are going about the way they're playing, I think I would watch that as well. There is a very athletic group of women that would enjoy watching sports channels that they know there's going to be a women's sport on there, be it snow skiing, be it be volleyball, tennis, um, you know, uh, mostly, uh, again, I would say doubles for them, that they would watch. They would turn on and they would put that either in the background or they would watch that they don't have today. Um, for example, the tennis channel um, is really the only thing out there. Uh, the golf channel as well. I think if you tie in a, a woman's channel into that, I think people would pay, you know, extra for that that they do today. If it's 4.99, would they pay 5.99 to get that added to women's channel in there? I believe so.